Welcome everyone to the Finite Solutions webinar series. Today we're going to be talking about getting the most out of EPM. What is new in Oracle Hyperion Planning 11.1.2.2? My name is Cindy Eichner and I'd like to welcome you to our webinar. And let me take you on a guided tour of Hyperion Planning 11.1.2.2. Before we start talking about Hyperion Planning, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Finite Solutions. Our organization is split into three different practices, all of which specialize in the Hyperion suite of products. Our financial close and consolidation practice specializes in financial management, HFM, and Hyperion Enterprise. We also work with the other modules. Our integration practice specializes in financial data quality management, FDM, ODI, ERPI, EPMA, and all the other products needed for integration. Our third practice, the Planning and Business Intelligence practice, works with Hyperion Planning and SBASE, and not only core planning, but the different modules of planning. And then lastly, we have reporting tools, which span across all three practices. Those include Smart View, Financial Reporting, OBIEE, and other tools. Our consulting services cover a broad range of implementation and post-implementation options. We do full cycle implementations and we do smaller projects. In other words, we can do a full implementation from beginning to end for you. We also provide a post-implementation support product called Finite Answers. This is a dedicated help desk to Hyperion products. This is a time and materials option. You only pay for what you use. Additionally, we're providing a pledge to Hyperion Enterprise customers. Any amount that you spend now on Finite Answers in support of your Hyperion application will be applied to a future product with Finite Solutions. So what are we going to talk about today? Obviously, Hyperion Planning 11.1.2.2. I'm going to talk to you about the new user interface. I'm also going to talk about the new features, substitution variables, rolling forecast, predictive planning charts, cell data history. And then I'm going to talk about the project financial planning module that has been released. The new user interface conforms to Oracle's Fusion standards. It uses ADF and it's now going to provide a familiar look and feel as other products. It's going to provide a consistent user experience between HFM and planning. Additionally, it's been built to allow for text that reads from right to left, such as Arabic text. So let's take a look at it. I'm signing in to Workspace here. And when we sign into Workspace, we're going to see the new user interface. We're going to come to the first home page and I'm going to go into a planning application now. What's really nice about the new user interface, it provides this left-hand accordion style panel that lets you go to different areas for maintenance or for the user experience. I'm signed in as an administrator here and you can see that I could get to forms, I can get to dimensions, I can get to business rules and user preferences. Then I can go to the administration menu bar and you'll see that many of these are similar to what used to be in System 9 and earlier versions of 11. What you just saw was an administrator signed in but now we're going to sign in to a user and what you will see is that the view is role driven. An administrator sees one thing on that left hand accordion style panel versus a user that sees something else. The task list is driven by the role. So unlike in System 9 where you had advanced and basic views, with the new user interface, the user's role determines what it will look like. So let me go back to the demo. We're going to sign in now as a user. This user has the planning role. They do not have any administrative rights. So we're going to select the application. And when we have that application open, that planning application, you'll see that their left-hand panel only has forms and my task list. And it's only going to have the task list to which 
they have been granted access. So a user will be able to come in, they'll have the task list, they'll be ex able to expand what's there and work. You'll notice that there is no administration option on the menu bar. So we're going to log out of here and we're going to keep on going. So what's next? Let's talk about manage dimensions. We can now customize columns. We can go and show just the top of a dimension and we can show ancestors. Let's go back into the demo. Signing back in as an administrator, we open up the application and now we go to manage dimensions. And you can get there two ways. You can do it from the left hand panel or you can do it from the administration menu bar and manage dimensions. So you see here, we can identify which columns we want to show. We can choose which columns to show. We can choose to show them all, show some of them, and we can order them however we want. So I'm selecting some columns to display and that's what we get to see. So unlike the old interface where you got what they gave you, we can customize what we want to see. We can expand out the tree now. And let's say the tree gets really long and it fills up several panels, several pages of, of members. Well, that sometimes makes it really difficult to see where you are within the hierarchy. So what can we do? We can actually go in and view the ancestors. So I'm positioned at Lester Mart and I can see where that fits within the entity hierarchy even though it's not all displayed in my panel.